we will learn about fibonacci series the fibonacci series is like this that is 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and so on so what is the logic of this series the series is its first two term that is 0 and 1 it is fixed and the next term will be the summation of its previous two term let us check this two term first two term will be fixed so third term will be a plus b let us see now fourth term that is 2 it will be the summation of its previous two term that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 next term 3 that will be the summation of its previous two term that is 1 and 2 that is 3 so similarly we can move forward so how to print this series so we will first consider first term and second term as it is fixed as 0 and 1 then we will find c equal to a plus b so now we have a b c so we will print first a then we will move a to b b to c and c to this and this will be a plus b again we will move this a to here this b to here and this c to here and this will be again a plus b didn't understand let's repeat first we consider a as 0 b as 1 so we know third term will be summation of its previous two term that is a and b so c will be a plus b c will be a plus b now we have first term in a we can print it we can print it then we will move to this and b will move to c and c will move to our next term and so on let's draw the flowchart for better understanding first we start the process we take the input up to how many terms we want to print the series we take in the number of terms to n we take in the number of terms to n now let first term be a and it is fixed as 0 second term be 1 as we are moving to n terms so we have to consider a counter variable or iteration variable for that let i equals to 1 now check the condition if i less than equals to n if this is true then first print a then first print a fine now what will we print here for first time it will be print 0 now what we have to do we have to move from here to here and here to here so for that first find the third term a c equals to a plus b c equal to a plus b now move a to b now move a to b 
and b to c and b to c and then we will move to our next term for that we have to move the counter variable by one place i equals to i plus 1 we will repeat the same this process until we reach the n if the process goes false the loop will be stop the loop will be stop now let's check uh, do the dry run to understand the flowchart so in at uh, let n be 4 let n be 4 so what is a a is 0 b is 1 and i is 1 for first condition that is i less than equals to n for i less than equals to n that is 1 less than equal to 4 this is this condition is true as this condition is true so we will print a we will print a so what is a a is 0 so we will have printed a fine now we are doing c equals to a plus b so c will be a plus b that is 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 1 and a equals to b now a is b b so b is 1 so a will be 1 and b is and b will be c that is also 1 and i will be plus 1 that is 2 in second loop that is i less than equals to n that is 2 less than equals to 4 that is true for that we will print a now a is 1 after that c is equal to a plus b so c will be a plus b that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 a will be b that will be 1 b will be c that is 2 and i will iterate that is 3 now for 3 less than equal to 4 we will print a a has 1 so we will print 1 now c will be a plus b that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 that is 3 a will be b that is 2 b will be c that is 3 and i will be plus 1 that is 4 that is 4 so we will move to our next condition that is 4 less than equals to 4 that will also be true for that we will print a that is 2 that is 2 now c will be a plus b that is 2 plus 3 that is 5 that is 5 now a will be b that is 3 and b will be c that is 5 and this will be 5 now con we will check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 that is false and the condition will be false and loop will be stopped so our fourth fibonacci series up to 4 term is this